to transition to life and daily living skills. Today we're going to learn how to clean the bathroom. There are several steps in cleaning the bathroom, but the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we use our to be clean method, which means we're going to start at the top and work to the bottom and then work in a circle around the room. The first thing you do when you're going to clean the bathroom is straighten up your surfaces. Take everything that is on counters, put it away so it's out of your way. Take the rugs, towels, dirty clothes out. And this would be a good time to wash your rugs, hang them up to dry so that when your bathroom is clean, you can bring back nice clean bathroom rugs and nice clean towels to put into your bathroom. Because dirt falls, we're going to start at the top and let it fall down to the bottom. So the first thing we're doing in the bathroom is cleaning up all of our top surfaces, our light fixtures, the top of the mirror, they all get dusted. You can use this kind of a system, or a feather duster, or even a rag up there. It's up to you. But start by cleaning the top surfaces. I like to organize all my supplies in a bucket. Not only does the, is the bucket handy if I want to mop the floor or do something else that needs a bucket of water, but it keeps everything in the same place when I go to put it away. After I've moved around the top and gotten any cobwebs that may be on the ceiling, clean the fan, clean the light fixtures, then I want to move to the center of the bathroom and make a circle around there. I, my next spot will be to clean mirrors and windows, anything that needs window cleaner. Now I'm careful not to get the window cleaner on my wood. You also notice that I just sprayed a little bit. I'm not saturating the window or the mirror. You don't want it to drip down. You just want to get it a little spray so that you can clean it up. Also pay attention because the square here has both a spray and a stream. You might need a stream for getting in to little grouty places or something on your bathroom, but for a mirror or a window, you want the spray. The first thing you want to do when you clean the sink and the counters is to get rid of obstacles. Move everything out of your way so that you have a clean shot at the sink. I like to use an all-purpose disinfectant. You can use whatever you or your family likes. Notice that I'm spraying a generous amount around. I'm using a, a dry sponge, see nothing squeezes out of it, to wipe it off. I clean everything off the countertop. Rinse it out, bring it out again, and keep going until it's all cleaned up. Then I go down into my sink. Because my countertops probably aren't as dirty as my sink, I try to do the places that are least dirty first and go next to the places that are more soiled. When I've completed my entire bathroom, I'm going to put this sponge in the dishwasher so that it can get washed and after that I'm going to microwave it for 30 seconds. That will kill all the germs that are on my sponge. Finally here, the glass cleaner and my paper towel is a good way to make my chrome absolutely sparkle and shine. And then I make sure that I put all of my tools back so that the soap dish here and, and hand soap are ready and my counter looks all nice and ready to use. You're going to clean your shower or tub exactly the way you clean the bathroom sink. You're going to use the to be clean method. Start at the top, 
work to the bottom and work in a circle. On your shower or your tub, it's best if you work your way, start away from the, the drain and work toward the drain so that all of the dirty water can go down the drain and your tub or shower can end up sparkling clean when you're finished. Use your disinfectant spray on your sponge to wash down the walls and wash the inside of the tub. Then use your glass cleaner on the chrome with a paper towel to make sure it stays nice and shiny. So now we're going to talk about the toilet. Before you freak out, do you know that the average remote control has more germs than the average seat of a toilet? It's the truth. This is everybody's least favorite job, but if you do it regularly, it doesn't have to be a bad job. You can do two things to clean the top part of your toilet. Remember as we clean the bathroom, we're going from the least dirty places to the most dirty places. The toilet bowl is not clean. So we've cleaned everything else in the bathroom first, and we're leaving the toilet for last. I use either my old washcloths that are already dirty that I'm going to be throwing into the washer and making clean. I can use that to clean up, or my sponge, which later I'm going to put into the dishwasher and the microwave to disinfect it again. So either way is going to work whatever you're comfortable with. Use your spray, spray the seat, wash down the seat here, lift it up, wash underneath, wash the rim of the toilet, then put it all down, get back here, get the tank and the top of the tank, and then make sure you get all the underside here, all the way down to the ground. The last part of cleaning the toilet is to clean actually inside the toilet bowl. You have several choices of the tools you use here too. You can buy the toilet bowl cleaners in the little stand that you can get even at the dollar store and store them. If you have that kind of a system, you need to replace the brush every six months so that you have a clean brush. Or, there are other new systems like this that are disposable. This comes with a wand. You put a new pad on, go in and scrub your bowl. First you're going to scrub right at the water line, then go down all the way down to the drain, and up around the rim. Scrub until all of the spots are off. And I usually let it sit for just a minute. I'm not sure if the camera shows, shows you inside here, but the water has turned blue and foamy as the disinfectant starts to work, and I give it a few minutes to do that. This particular system, this brush goes in the trash. In some systems, the um, brush actually flushes down the toilet. Read carefully your directions to see which one yours does and discard of the brush pot properly. When I finished wiping down the walls, cleaning the mirrors, and doing the sink, the toilet, and the tub, all of the dirt has now moved to the floor. The next thing I need to do is sweep up. Make sure you get behind the toilet, around the trash can, all those places where dirt and clutter seem to accumulate. Sweep them out. Use your whisk broom to clean, and dustpan to clean up all of the mess. Then use a good mop and disinfectant to wash your floor. If you have a hardwood floor or carpeting or some other surface, use an appropriate means to clean that surface. Once your floors are swept and mopped, it's time to put your clean rugs back, put any accessories back into your bathroom, and you're done.